गुड मॉर्निंग डेयर स्टूडेंट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ लेक्चर ऑन इलेक्ट्रोकार्डियोग्राफी और द ई सी टी एट द एंड ऑफ माई लेक्चर यू मस्ट एबल टू डिफाइन इलेक्ट्रोकार्डियोग्राम यूजेस ऑफ ई सी जी टाइप ऑफ ई सी जी लिट्स दैट इज बाइपोलर लिमलेट्स और द पेरिकॉर्डियल और चेस्ट लिट्स इलेक्ट्रोकार्डियोग्राम was first invented by the William Anthoven a Dutch physiologist he was awarded nobel prize in 1924 for his coordinate for his contribution and is known as the father of the modern electrography electrocardiogram it is the graphic record of sequential electrical events of all the cardiac muscle fiber generated with each heartbeat or record of potential fluctuation during each heartbeat or the cardiac cycle it is detected by the electrodes attached to the skin electrocardiography is the method of recording of the ecg while electrocardiograph it is a machine that record ecg generally the graph mean it is the graph mean the recording and graphy mean is the machine but in ecg electrocardiography it is the method of recording the ecg and electrocardiograph it is the machine that record the ecg electrocardiogram is derived from the greek word cardia meaning heart as the heart beats action potential on the heart causes an electrical signals on the body surface the larger the structure greater the voltage it induces the voltage pattern is called the electrocardiogram electrocardiography refer to extracellular recording of the summed up electrical events of all the cardiac muscle fiber generated with each heartbeat electrically heart behave as a dipole two terminal battery in which the excited part that is the depolarized segment forms a negative pole and the non excited part form the positive pole thus ecg re- ECG is the surface recording of the potential difference between the two poles of the heart at a given time. The machine used to record this potential fluctuation is electrocardiograph, which is essentially a sensitive galvanometer. Now, usage of ECG. ECG record can be used to to know the heart rate conduction in the heart cardiac arrhythmia direction of cardiac vector damage to the heart muscles and provide information about the pumping or mechanical events in the heart ecg machine amplify the electrical signals produced from the heart and record the signals on the moving ecg paper ecg machine runs at the standard rate and use paper with standard side squares the paper that is used for recording ecg is known as ecg paper moment of paper through the machine can be adjusted by two speed 25 mm per second and 20 50 mm per second there are the five large square per second and 300 per minute each, each large scale square it is the of 5 mm and it represent 0.2 seconds so on x axis it denote the time and x axis it denote the time at its horizontal in x axis there is the five large squares that is 
and one one square is of point zero four second. So the five squares of five mm is equal to the five into four. 5 into point zero four second is point twenty seconds. Amplitude of ECG wave is plotted vertically on y axis. On y axis, there is the one mm is equal to point one millivolt and five mm is equal to point zero five mm m uh, millivolt. On One mm is equal to point zero one millivolt. Five mm is equal to point five millivolt. Time is measured horizontally in second or milliseconds. Magnitude is measured vertically in millivolt. Conventionally, the sensitivity of ECG machine is adjusted. or calibrated so that a 1 millivolt electric signal produces a 10 mm deflection on the ecg the standard paper speed is as we already discuss it is 25 mm per second that is in 1 second or 1000 millisecond correspond to 5 large squares ECG leads are the two electrodes which are placed on body surface and connected to ECG machine for measuring the for measuring the potential fluctuation between the two points series of electrode placed on surface of the body are called ECG leads there are the 12 leads to record the ECG Twelve leads, six limb leads, six chest leads, six limb leads, unipolar leads, bipolar leads, unipolar leads, also known as the Goldberg augmented limb leads. They are the AVR, AVL, AVF. Bipolar leads, they are the Anthoven standard limb leads. They are the lead one, lead two, lead three. chest leads they are also the six in number and these leads are known as the wilson precordial leads they are designed as designed from v1 to v6 v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 unipolar leads and active or x chlorine electrode connected to an indifferent electrode at zero potential bipolar leads two active electrodes connected to positive and the negative terminal of the ecg machine an ecg is recorded from one lead at a time moment of charges has both the three dimensional direction and the magnitude the signal measured on an ecg is a vector Now, bipolar limb leads. In bipolar recording, both the electrodes are active, and one of the active electrode is connected to the negative terminal of ECG machine, and the other to the positive terminal. Three standard limb leads used in bipolar recording are based on Anthoven assumptions that the body is like an electrically homogeneous plate. in which the right and left shoulder and the pubic region forms the corner of equilateral triangle with the heart in its center this the anthoven called as the anthoven triangle and the two active electrode needed to be placed at the two corners of the triangle however practically placing of electrode at this place is impossible so rather of placing the electrodes at the pubic region the electrodes are placed in the proximal or distal part of the extremities because the current flow in the body fluids and so record obtains are similar
in three standard limits the two active electrodes are connected as in lead one the two active electrodes are connected to left arm and the right arm the right arm it is negatively charged or negatively uh, it is uh, connected to the negative terminal of ecg machine and the left arm it is connected to the positive terminal of the ecg machine now the current it flows from the right arm to the left arm from negative to positive lead to in lead to the electrodes are connected to right arm and the left leg left leg electrode is connected to positive terminal right arm electrode is connected to negative terminal of the ecg machine lead 3 the electrodes are connected to left arm and the left leg left leg electrode is connected to positive terminal left arm electrode is connected to negative terminal of ecg machine now when we assume that VLA is a potential at the left arm VRA potential at the right arm and VLL is a potential at the left leg so lead 1 is is equal to VLA to VRA lead 2 is a potential at the right arm and potential at the left leg lead 3 potential at the left leg and the potential at the left arm it follows that limb limb or the lead one that is consist of the vla and vra plus lead two that is consist of vll and vla is equal to the third is equal to the second lead sorry lead one that is vla minus vra plus lead 3 that is vll and vla is equal to lead 2 or lead 1 plus lead 3 is equal to lead 2 and we also write as lead 1 plus lead 3 minus lead 2 is equal to 0 which is well known form of the anthovian's law anthovian triangle it is the if the heart is a center of an imaginary equilateral triangle drawn by connecting these three limbs the triangle is called the anthovian triangle and sum of the voltage in lead 1 and 3 equals the voltage in lead 2 in a volume conductor sum of the potential at the point of equilateral triangle with current sources in the center is zero at all the time so anthovians give one law according to that law the relationship between the standard limb lead is such that the sum of the electrical voltage recorded in lead 1 and lead 3 equals the electrical voltage recorded by lead 2 wilson central terminal wilson connected the three standard limb leads throw the equal valued resistor to a common point the potential at this point is the average of potential at each limb electrode and is used as the reference potential these reference is known as central terminal potential and is used by physician as the zero equivalent unipolar leads unipolar leads they are consist of the two type of the electrodes active electrode or indifferent electrode active electrode is also known as the exploring electrode potential at indifferent electrode is the zero while potential fluctuation is only at the active electrode 
since the potential at the indifferent electrode remains zero so in unipolar recording the record obtained represent the potential fluctuation occurring at the site of the exploring electrode when we see the unipolar leads unipolar leads these are the divided into the two types unipolar chest leads unipolar limb leads unipolar chest leads these are six in number and it is designed from the v1 to v6 it is called the chest lead because it is located at the at the chest area from intercostal space 4 to the intercostal space 5 from the stern uh, from the right part of the right side of the sternum up to the left side of the sternum and and it extend up to the mid axillary line exploring left unipolar limb leads unipolar limb leads these are the three in number that is the vl mean the limb it is situated at the left leg a left side of the arm vf foot left foot and vr left right side of the arm exploring electrodes are placed over a limb connected to the positive terminal of ecg machine in different electrodes are connected over negative terminals precordial leads normal position of the precordial leads are lead v1 in the right fourth intercostal space just near the sternum v2 in the left fourth intercostal space just near the sternum v3 halfway between the v2 and v4 v4 in the left fifth intercostal space at the mid clavicular line V5 it is situated in the left fifth intercostal space at anterior axillary line while the V6 it is situated at, at the left fifth intercostal space at mid axillary lines This precordial leads shows the electrical activity of the part of the heart which is closer to electrodes. V1 and V2 it is situated near the sternum at the fourth intercostal space it show the activity of the right ventricular ventricles while V3 and V4 it is situated at the fourth intercostal space right fourth intercostal uh, left fourth intercostal space it show the activity of both ventricles and also the interventricular septum v5 and v6 it shows the activity of the left ventricular and this v5 and v6 is extended up to the mid axillary line posterior axillary line and the mid axillary line so it show the activity of the left ventricle now unipolar limb leads this includes vl vf and vr in unipolar limb leads one exploring electrode or active electrode it place over the limb and is connected to positive terminal of electrocardiogram the indifferent electrode it is connected to negative terminal of electrocardiogram the limb leads are vf that is the electrodes are placed at the left foot and it show the electrical activity of the inferior surface of the heart vl electrode are placed at the left arm and it show the activity of left outer side of the heart vr electrode placed at the right arm and it show the electrical activity of the cavity of ventricle now these leads are not in used and it is replaced by augmented limb leads 
in augmented limb blades the size of potential increases by the 50% without any change in the configuration from the non augmented record the active electrode is from one of the limb and the indifferent electrode is obtained by connecting two limbs through 5000 ohms resistance when we consider the avr lead avr active electrode is from the right arm and indifferent electrode is from left arm and the left leg lead avl that is the left arm the active electrode is from left arm and indifferent electrode is from right arm and the left foot lead avf in lead avf active electrode is from the left foot and indifferent electrode is from the right arm and the left vector of augmented limb leads is equal to 3 by 2 vector of non augmented limb leads how it is avr is equal to vr minus vl plus vf divided by 2 avr 2 avr is equal to 2 vr minus vl plus vf since vr plus vl plus vf is equal to 0 according to anthovian's triangle so vr is equal to minus vl plus vf 2 avr is equal to 2 vr plus vr avr is equal to 3 by 2 vr now when we consider the two leads anthovian and the goldberger goldberger limbs so in anthovian anthovian leads anthovian leads these are the bipolar leads and it is the lead 1 2 3 and augmented or the goldberger augmented limb leads they are the avr avl avf when we placed this limbs in the frontal plane it gives the hex axial reference figure this hex axial reference is nothing but it determines the hard electrical axis in the frontal plane lead 1 the moment of the current in lead 1 is from negative to positive direction and it is the horizontally and it is of the zero degree while lead 2 it is it is downwards and it to it is toward the left and so it is the plus 60 degree thirdly it is also the it is also the downward and it is the 120 degree when we consider the goldberger goldberger standard limblets a goldberger augmented limblets the avr is in the minus 150 degree avl is minus 30 degree while avf is positive that is the plus 90 degree when we put all the 12 leads together and when we see in the in all the planes of the human being we know that in the human beings we are divided into the different planes first anterior posterior right and left frontal plane sagittal plane horizontal plane and the vertical plane when we see that the lead v1 and v2 it shows the activity of the septal wall while v3 and v4 it shows the activity of the anterior wall and this is this is the horizontal plane it shows the activity in the horizontal plane while lead 1 avl v5 and v6 this show the activity of the lateral wall left lateral wall while the lead 2 
lead 3 and ABF it shows the activity of the inferior bore. So this is all the uh, this is this is in all the planes the leads these are the active and by this we can record the electrical activity of the all the parts of the heart. Today we discuss about the ECG. What is the normal ECG? How it is measured? How it is recorded? And, and how we are placing the leads? And how many types of the leads are there? So, placement of the leads in the recording of the ECG is very very important. In next lecture, we will continue with the with the recording of the different waves of the electrocardiogram. Thank you for listening me patiently. Thank you.